Howdy partners, Vic the Slick here, back again on What's Cooking Good Looking You Are, and we're, today we're making some beef ribs. Ooh, yummy, yummy. Just cut up the cow myself. <laughs> nope, took it out of the freezer. So, as usual, like I usually do with my stuff, I always wash my meat before I start placing it, and we're going to be using the uh, Pampered Chef Quick Cooker here in uh, slow mode to cook these all day. So I already put a bunch down in there, and I'm filling this bad boy right up. Look at that. Ooh, yum, yum. So I put some garlic and some onion and some czar seasoning, czar dust. And uh, now we're going to put in a little bit of red wine. Yes, you don't want to put too much. Just give it a nice little flavor. And we're going to put up some beef broth. And you want to kind of cover most of this up. So this way it can cook good all day long. And thank goodness I'm going to be going out because I don't want to be smelling this all day. I'd want to eat it right away. And you got to let it cook. Okay, so one thing of broth is not enough. So we're going to have to add some more. We'll be back in a minute. Ciao. Howdy, partners. We're back. So what I wound up doing was adding about four cups of water. And then I just put a little bit more salt in there. So you could add another thing of beef broth if you want, but uh, then it might come too strong. So once we're in there, we're going to cover this bad boy up. And we're already plugged in, as you can see. And we're going to turn this knobby here until you get to slow cook. And it shows you four hours. Now that's not long enough for me. So we're going to hit the time button and bump this bad boy up to nine hours because it's 8 30 in the morning it'll be done by 4 30 tonight and then you hit start and you're good to go all right be back in about nine hours ciao howdy partners we're back we were busy today I'll let me tell you while this was cooking these beef ribs are smelling good there's about 30 minutes left on the timer but that's okay we're close enough so what you got to do now oh look at that bad boys there we have to pull them out and then let them cook, uh, cool off, not cook because they've been cooking all day. And then we're going to separate the meat from the fat and the bone. And in the meantime, I got some water boiling for some egg noodles. And we're going to serve this over egg noodles. And we'll be back in a little bit when this cools after I get all of this out. See you in a little bit. Ciao. Howdy, folks. We're back real quick. So I got everything out of the pot. And you can see by this here, they came right off that bone. Didn't even have to do anything. These bones were all on the bottom. So it's all nice and tender. And you know I'm going to taste it. Look at that. The way it just came right off. Ooh-wee. Mmm-mmm-mmm. Oh, boy. That is good. Nice and tender. Nice meaty flavor. Can't wait to get on this plate. See you in a little bit. Ciao. How you doing? We're back again, and uh, it's cold for a little bit, but you know me with the heat, I just go right at it. So I'm just pulling some of this fat off here, and it depends on the, the uh, piece of meat you have, what kind of fat you get. Like that was a nice big chunk, came right off, and then I'm going to put it over here on this side, and then just break it apart a little bit. We got some fat on the bottom we missed, so you just scoop that off and put it back in your other bowl, and just nice and easy scrape this off. And then when we're done, we're going to have some yum yummies. All right, we'll be back in a little bit. Ciao. Howdy, partners. We're back. And as you can see, I started using my hands to get off some of that stuff. And this is what we got left. This is all your yum yummy meat. And then you got some fat for your chickens and some fat for your chickens and the bones. And this was uh, about four big packages of beef ribs. And you're going to get probably... Yeah, four meals out of this, maybe five meals. And you just kind of mix it all together because some of them are, you know, a little bit not as moist as others because it depends on how much fat was in those ribs. And you just mix it all together like this. And then we're going to get ready to serve this on top of our noodles. But don't forget to wash your hands. Ooh, I am Vic the Slick, aren't I? See you in a little bit. Ciao. Howdy, we're back again on the last part of this edition of Vic the Slick's What's Cooking Good Looking you are, oops, these are my pampered chef ones, they lock on me. So we have our egg noodles, and uh, we have, uh, uh oh, there we go. We have our beef ribs. Oh boy, this is looking good. Yum, yum, yummy. So now what you could do 
is with this uh, broth that you have here, you can pull some of it off and make some gravy out of it and put it over the top. And then what you could also do is just put this in the refrigerator and uh, let it cool, get cold overnight. And then you'll see all of the fat will come off on the top and you skim that bad boy right off and you got some good beef broth there. Oh boy. So we're going to taste this bad boy with the noodles. Mmm. Nice and tender. Nice flavor with all those different spices in there. Juicy without even putting any juice on it. All right. We'll see you next time. Salute. Ciao.